I've now closed the door, side door, and I've opened the front door of the organ which hangs down. You may be able to see this if I just show you the door. There it is. It hangs down when you open it and enables you to see inside the organ. Now that's the computer, right? It's got perspex, a perspex side so you can see into it and in fact you can see the power supply you can see where the hard disk drive is and a few other components on the motherboard and you can see some of the wiring but there's really not very much in this organ those three printed circuit boards that you can see each of the three handles one of the manuals so each manual has a ribbon cable going down from it from a diode matrix set of switches on the keyboard goes down and plugs into one of those circuit boards which then feeds into the computer via a USB cable so three manuals means three printed circuit boards now the other tiny little printed circuit board there you can see the ribbon cable that's attached to it because that is the pedal MIDI converter and that takes each of those signals from the pedal board and converts it uh, into a MIDI signal and then the MIDI signal from the pedal printed circuit board goes into that little box on the far left which is a TAPCO 4x4 MIDI device and it converts the MIDI into USB and you'll notice there's two plugs in it on the left uh, on the front there but towards the left two plugs one receives the signals from the Behringer foot pedal unit which I explained earlier and of course also from the pedal board so that handles that and that also then connects to the computer through a pair of USB cables so there's very little in it and if I can build one of these organs so can you even down to doing the woodwork let's have a look at some of the woodwork in a moment now closed the front door of the organ and I've already closed the side door closed the front door close the side door and I'm just showing you now the decoration which people think is very fancy on the front of the organ here uh, the wood seems to be decorated you can see that and if I show you here go into the corner here and just zoom in a bit you'll be able to see the way I've managed to mitre that joint. Now I didn't make all that decorated wood <laughs> although some people have asked me did I? No I didn't. Bit of a cheat really. It came from B&Q. It's moulding, decorative moulding. It's very nice. Likewise I've got this on the front of the um, manuals as you can see there. Right and then I've got a slightly different form of decorative moulding on the um, top of the upper manual there we are and you've got uh, a nice uh, music stand music desk which is also decorated if you have a look at it there with the same kind of moulding as we've got throughout the organ so there we are Behind the music desk is a little niche and that niche holds the um, keyboard when you've logged in and you've started the organ up. I'll show you that in a minute. We're now going to power up the organ. I'm going to connect the organ to the mains. There we are. Okay. Now we've got some power to the speakers. See there's a light on there. There's some power to the monitor. I'm going to open the side door and I'm going to switch the computer on. There we are. Computer's flashing away. We can move it like that. We'll have a look at the screen. Okay. Computer's initialising.
going to come up in a minute. I'm running Windows Vista, but I'm running 64-bit as I mentioned, and it's Vista Ultimate. But I'm running it with no frills, because we need to preserve all the performance, even though it's a quad-core PC. We have to preserve all the performance of the computer for the, for the organ. Traditional Windows sound. I'm just going to log in. Okay. And now Vista is going to be getting going. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do now is just pop the keyboard. This is the computer keyboard here. I'm going to pop the computer keyboard into the niche behind here. And then I'll be back with you in just one minute. What I'm going to do now <coughs> is start the Hauptwerk piece of software with the touch screen using my finger. There we are. Got the help work screen there and I'm going to select an organ to load. There we are. The organ is now loading. This organ that I'm going to load is the is an English organ built in the 1880s by Joseph Jepson Binns and it's in Haverhill which is in Suffolk and it's in the old independent church there and it was recorded by Lavender Audio by David Butcher and it's a splendid organ and it's splendidly recorded and I've got the extended version whereby David has added a few additional stops and it makes a wonderful organ now I'm going to make some recordings indeed there are already some recordings on YouTube that you can hear but I'm going to make um, some um, audio and video recordings and when I do that, I won't make them through the microphone of the camera because the quality will be not as good as the alternative way that I will use, which is to record directly from the um, organ pitches, which um, can be done with help there because you can actually send an audio stream to the disc as you play. And then you just have to synchronize those with your video and hey presto, it's fine. There you can see the organ is now loaded and it's quite a, a decent organ. You've got the great organ on the far right, you've got the choir organ on its left, then you've got a representation of the keyboards and the pedal board, and then you've got on the left hand pane you've got the, uh, the pedal organ uh, which is on the right hand side of the left hand pane and on the left hand side of the left hand pane is the swell organ. Okay, and you can see we've got two pedals one pedal on the left is a special pedal which I may mention to you and the other pedal is a swell pedal because this organ doesn't actually have a crescendo pedal in real life but in the extended version David Butcher has added one and so our uh, crescendo pedal will work. Okay, just to show you that the organ is working I'm going to pull a few stops right I'll pull the stop diapason and the uh, and the principal four foot and the fifteenth two foot on the great organ and play something. And as I say, there'll be some other videos recorded showing the thing more completely later. I just want to show you one more thing before we close this video off and that is um, I'm just going to show you what happens when I hit one of those combination pedals on the Behringer with my foot. You can see it opens the stops for me. Okay, that's the tour of my Helpvirk virtual organ. Thank you very much.